Hi everybody, it's Pastor Joel and it is Good Friday 2020 and uh, this Good Friday is going to be unlike any other in my lifetime, I imagine your lifetime as well, uh, as we are unable to gather for worship and the Good Friday Tenebrae service that has been so meaningful to me. Uh, I thought we would bring you uh, this message to remember and celebrate this day when Jesus won our forgiveness on the cross. So this message is based on Mark 15, verses 33 and 34, which say this, At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Have you ever been in a place of complete darkness? I remember being deep underground in a cave in Kentucky on a tour with a guide and our six family members. Everyone turned out their lights and it was completely dark. You literally could not see your hand in front of your face. And complete darkness like that is pretty scary because you can't see what danger might be next to you. Uh, you can't even see the friend who's next to you either, so it's pretty isolating. And probably worst of all, in complete darkness, you can't see which way to go. You're just totally disoriented. So British explorer Ernest Shackleton and his men were on an expedition to the Antarctic when their ship became trapped in the ice. The men were there for months awaiting rescue. Of all the difficulties they faced, including sub-zero temperatures and starvation, the men said that the darkness was the worst. The polar night lasts for months. So does it make sense that the Bible equates darkness with God's displeasure and judgment? One of the plagues on Egypt was the plague of total darkness so that people could not see nor move. Uh, for three days. Isaiah 9 says that people without God are those who are walking in darkness. They are disoriented and groping about in the dark. So Mark tells us that when Jesus hung on the cross, darkness came over the whole land from noon until 3 p.m. when Jesus died. God was judging Jesus for our sin and the darkness he experienced was not just outside of him. It was inner darkness and disorientation. The only human who had ever danced with God cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? In that moment, he was disoriented, groping about in the dark, so that you and I never have to. We all experience times of darkness and disorientation, especially when bad things happen and we find ourselves groping about in territory we've never been before, like this pandemic, fearful, wondering where God is. In the middle of the night, our fears can appear bigger, even overwhelming. But in our darkest moments, we have something to help us find our way so that we are never lost and that's the cross. By dying for us, Jesus gave us unshakable proof of God's unchanging love. And that is our true north. The cross gives us certainty that God will not withhold any good thing we need. If we navigate by the cross, we can know that God will bring us through whatever darkness we face when it's difficult to see the days ahead. It's going to be okay. Dawn is just around the corner. The light is coming. And so on this Good Friday, let's pause for a word of prayer. Jesus, today we pause to remember your sacrificial love that shone light into the darkness, that brought hope out of despair, that proclaimed freedom to the imprisoned, and forgiveness instead of punishment. Thank you that we can now walk in the light of your love and forgiveness 
and shine that same grace into the hearts of those around us. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. God bless your Good Friday. We look forward to being with you streaming worship on Easter Sunday, 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. on Facebook. Until then, God keep you in his love and his care.